Hello everyone, this is Fantasy Esk and welcome back to Hidden Springs in The Sims 3 with the Riverhawk and Robbie families. It is almost 11.30am on Monday and we are picking up after Cameron's birthday where he aged into a toddler. He has gotten his makeover so now he looks like a normal child and not whatever botched mess he was before and also we don't have to worry about his possessed baby skin. So he looks fabulous. I think. Look at him, isn't he adorable? I give him a lot of beach colors, so peachy tones, sandy tones, with some nice blues. So that's what he has, and look at him, just, he's got, I think his mother's eyes, yep. He's got the bright green eyes, just like his sister Katarina, and the black hair. None of the kids came out with green skin, like I was kind of hoping, but that's fine, that's okay. Who knows? They might mix with some really odd beings. I'm not even going to say humans. They might mix with some really odd beings in the future, and their children might be odd colored. So, I'm quite happy with that. But, guys, I also wanted to let everyone know that over the next two episodes, so this episode and the next one, we are going to be wrapping up this series and this family so that I can focus on other things. So... There we go. I hope it's not too short of a notice. We still have two episodes with these guys to enjoy. But okay, I kind of wanted to spend these next couple of days taking them out somewhere and doing something. So today was kind of perfect because Star has a snow day, so she's actually able to stay home. And then we have Robbie, of course, and Cassidy, and Juno. And we have Katarina, too. But I think we want to leave her here so that the butler can look after her because she's not in the best of moods. So it probably will only be taking Cameron. Nyla's at work. I'm going to leave her be. I don't want to distract her too much. But we are going to make sure that we can take these guys out. I'm hoping to the Winter Festival so that they can kind of enjoy themselves. The Winter Festival is not that far away. So we're actually going to go ahead... You know what, I kind of want to take the dogs out as well so they can enjoy themselves. Cameron, Juno, Casey, and Star. There we go. The entire family is going on a bit of a trip. So everyone's going to go out. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be amazing. Although, yes, we have a broken shower and a bunch of other things that uh, we probably should get done at home. But you know what, I'm realizing having a butler is just so much fun because... They look after a whole bunch of things. Look at that, guys. These are like the color schemes we have going on with the adorable Cameron. <laughs> but I am very, very, very happy because the butler can look after Katarina. I'm pretty sure the butler sometimes even teaches them skills, which is awesome. Um, so there we go. He'll kind of be cleaning stuff around. Are the dogs coming, I wonder? I think they are. I hope they are. Are they stuck? Yeah, I think the dogs are having some issues. Bravo, Bouquet. These guys should be alright. Now that also means that unfortunately I probably will not be able to have puppies with these guys uh, before we leave. Who knows though, some point in the future I might bring this family back because there are other worlds that I want to explore. And I'm thinking that I might just use this family to continue onwards. Like, I have... Is it, um, jeez, I can't even remember the name. Is it Mon Monte Vista? I have no clue. It's escaping me right now, but I have another world as well that I wanted to do an LP on. So I'll probably be moving this entire family there and carrying on their story. Because we've pretty much explored all of Hidden Springs, which is what my goal for this series was. I just wanted a family and a story we could use to explore the entire world. And I think we did that pretty well. So, ooh. Look at how cute this place looks. Although it's kind of, kind of a blizzard right now. So, probably not the best, but that's alright. And apart from Monte Vista, I think there's a bunch of other stuff that I want to explore as well. Some of the other worlds I want to delve into. And I'm just thinking I might move this family. Like, for example, Niall or Star might be the main character of whatever world we decide to do next. But I'll get this entire household to move and then we might split them up. And then whoever the main character is, I'll go ahead and give the dogs over to them so that we can breed puppies and all those kind of cool things. 
So that way we can still check up on other members of the family, but we'll keep the important links and we'll be able to see them as NPCs around town. So if you guys have any preferences or suggestions regarding whether you want to follow Nile or Star in whichever world I decide to do next, then please let me know. And that way I will go with that sibling. If you guys don't tell me, then I don't know, I might end up going with Nile. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hmm. Yeah, because Star's a teen, so I might just end up going with Nile. Or, if you guys prefer, I might keep the sisters together. Kind of like how he did with Cassidy, Nicholas, Juno, and Jessica for a bit. And I mean, Cassidy and Juno aren't related, but they're still together. They stay the kind of friends, you know? So they have their two families in one household. I might do that for both Nile and Star. I don't know, you guys let me know. But, okay. And these guys... Ugh. I also don't want to lose their relationship. Look at how close they are. They are so close to each other. They're best friends. They're best friends, which is so cute. So flippin' cute. Oh my goodness. I'm really curious to know what kind of puppies they might have. Like, really, really curious. Especially for Bravo. Because Bravo is... Like, my favorite dog. Out of all the dogs I've had in The Sims 3, Bravo's my favorite. He is just this adorable llama dog. And I can't get over him. <sighs> okay, well, I'll stop focusing on the dogs and let them do whatever they want. What's happening with Cameron? Cameron? Did you get throw- Cameron. Cameron, my kid. Did we just throw- we threw Cameron. We threw Cameron in the snow. This poor kid is just sitting, like, buried in the snow. I hope he doesn't get hypothermia. Hmm? While his, um mother, not even grandmother, while his mother is off skating with her friends. Actually, Cassidy's around. Cassidy, are you gonna... No? No? Okay, never mind. Cassidy wants to go pee. I thought Cassidy was gonna come rescue her son, but no, she's too old to worry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness, who's coming? Who's this? Look at this! Scott Vanderbilt Chesterfield finally came for the child. Look at this, police officer. He's like, guys, what are you doing here? There's a child- negligence? Negligence? There's a child- look at him. He's like, there's a child that's been left unattended as a responsible police officer of Hidden Springs. I am gonna pick this child up and make sure that he is well known. Okay, just as I was singing praises, he puts the child right back in the snow. What kind of police officer are you, Scott? And who's this? Viola Vandenberg. We have a dog. We have a dog in the area. And right- oh my goodness. Did he just- did he just take off his uniform? And dive into the snow? Okay, well, responsible officer duties happening right over here, guys. Responsible officer duties. Little Cameron's just watching this strange man who picked him up and was supposedly rescuing him. Now lying shirtless in the snow. Oh my goodness, I hope he's not learning odd things from that guy. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, where is Star going? Oh, Star has work, because she works at the graveyard. That's right, we got her a job, I think, in the previous episode as well. So, she now works at the graveyard from 9 to 2 p.m. Wait, what? No, no. From 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Ah, I see, I see. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, deliver forms, why not? We can definitely arrange for that. Oh my goodness, so many notifications. Um, where is Casey? Casey, you're at work? Huh. I wonder, can you deliver your forms? Oh look, it's rainbow! It's a pretty rainbow! Okay, let's stop getting distracted by the rainbow. Um, we need to deliver forms to the city hall. Darn it! Okay, so we're gonna have to come back some other day when we don't have work. So I guess, yeah. Tuesday in the morning at some point, we're gonna have to send him out to deliver the forms. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's jump back with the kiddos and see how everything's going. Star's at work, Niall's at home. Okay, who's even at the park? I think it's the two, the two grandmas. They're not even grandmothers, they have children and no grandchildren. But, the two old ladies of ours, they are over here. At the park. And it's evening time now. Does someone want to get the kid? Can someone get Cameron? Um, 
Hmm, this is difficult. We can't do anything with Cameron. We want to go eat. Can we go... What does that mean? Uh, why not? We'll give a hand in this presentation. But why don't we have people that are actually manning these stations? We want food. What is with this? Where are the people? Why don't we have food? I'm disappointed. I'm immensely disappointed. Can we give... Can we give little Cameron face paint? No. Toddlers don't get that. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Why don't you, um, snuggle Cameron? This poor child is probably cold and he's hungry. Why don't you go feed him as well? We might have to just feed him on the floor. Jeez. Okay. Why not? And Cassidy looks like she's having a lot of fun. Which is good. Yep. Come on. Let's take care of this kid. Cassidy's skating to heart's content. Look at her go. Hold on a second. Cassidy? Look at this! In her skirt, no less. She's like a skating pro. Well, I'm glad she's having fun. I am glad she's having fun. She has worked immensely hard for her entire life. She wants to retire, I think. Does she? No, she wants to change jobs and reach level 8 of the medical career. So, yeah. We kind of have a problem going on with her too because she wants to reach level 8, which we have one more level left, and then she wants to switch jobs, but then I'm fairly sure she also wanted to retire at one stage. And if she does that, if she switches jobs, she's not going to get nearly as much money as she does now. But then again, I guess that would make sense. Um, like, if she moved. Because once they move to a new city and to a new world, then they won't be getting the same retirement payments from their companies anyway. So, it's interesting. Scott, I feel like you're being very inappropriate, sir. You are supposed to be the law enforcement officer around here and keep order and social form, but what what's happening here? What's happening? You're skating shirtless in the middle of winter. I don't think that's appropriate behavior, sir. Okay, Cassidy's skating, yep. Yeah. Excellent, that's good. Cameron, are you okay? Oh, Cameron pooped himself. Okay, kiddo, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Juno is taking you home. That's it. We're done. We're done. Let's pick up Cameron. I thought we were going to have a good time out here, but guess what? People dumped the toddler in the snow. Now we have whining children, an odd law enforcement officer, and, um, yeah, our two old ladies, who I think had fun in the middle of a blizzard, and a bunch of cats and dogs buried in the snow. Excellent. Is it me, or is this entire place just surrounded by old women? We've got Tori. Who else was here? Apart from Scott. Yeah, and the food stands weren't even open. And the concession stands, which sucks. Hmm. Because I really wanted to go ahead and get some food for them. What kind of festival is this if we can't even buy food? I don't like it. But it looks like Cassidy's become a pro very quickly. She could stay here forever. I feel like it's wise to take them all home now. Oh, Juno! Juno, what are you doing? Juno. Juno, where'd you go? No, grab the kid and go home. Let's pick up Cameron. We need to take him home. If I just send them home, they're gonna leave this kid. That's not what we want. Cassidy's too old to be a mother and look after toddlers. <sighs> I mean, I guess that's why she has a young husband, right? Okay. The little dogs. Where's my doggos? Oh, look at them. Look at these responsible guys already heading on home. They knew to go home all on their own. Isn't that adorable? Excellent. That makes me happy. That makes me really happy. But also, guys, if you have any other um, ideas for challenges or series in The Sims 3, then let me know like what you guys would like to see. If there's a series from the past you want me to carry on, like the Vampire Bloodlines, or if there's like, something new you want me to do, like the Perfect Genetics Challenge, then let me know. Currently, I am open to anything. So, who knows? Depending on the kind of suggestions you guys give me in this video, I might let you know in the next video what type of, I don't know, series you might do, or something like that. Depending on when my next video comes out, of course, and how many suggestions you guys give me, 
who knows we might we might do something new something fun something interesting so even if you have a couple of suggestions that's fine let me know what you guys want or are interested in because i want to make things that you guys want to watch so okay everyone's home and everyone's in a relatively good mood um sure george can chat with juno they are friends of course and little star is putting katarina in a crib oh katarina has the cutest dress but i don't feel like we see her enough in it she has like the most adorable dress ever but she's always in her sleepwear sleeping or sitting around the house <laughs> okay so we'll leave her be and i will look after everyone's needs and then we'll see where we can send them off next before the episode ends Okay, it's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, and we are rejoining the family, getting ready for apparently Katarina's birthday. And I did not realize this, but she is aging up into a child today. And where is Juno going? No, stop. Where are you taking the kid? Take it back inside. What is what is their obsession with leaving the babies out in the snow? I doubt she wanted that. Uh, pick her up. Actually, fine. Leave her in the snow if you want. But we actually have Cassidy already at work. And apparently she did something that made everyone really happy. Because she just earned a relationship increase with the boss. 1,500 simoleons. And increased career performance. How much did she get for career performance? Ah, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Now what I want to do. Um, rather than wait. Because then Casey's going to have to go to work. And... Niall's already at work, Juno's home, Star's at school, so we would only have a birthday right now with Casey and with Juno. Hmm. I'm wondering if it would be better off if we waited until the evening. Now, when is everyone coming back home? 2 p.m.? Um, what's this? Um, yep, yeah, George can come over. 2.30... To, okay, you know what? I think we can wait for a majority of the members. Unfortunately, Casey's going to be at work, but at least we'll have everyone else at home attending the birthday party. So we'll do that. So probably in the next episode, we'll be tending to her birthday and seeing her age up into a lovely young girl before we wrap up the family and move on. So I think that was actually quite timely. Now, Star, I would like you to meet new friends if possible. I know we're going to be moving pretty soon and then it won't matter who you're friends with, but that's okay. And what's this? Being knowledgeable as a toddler? What? Look at him, isn't he cute? I kind of really like the fact that both the kids have the vibrant green eyes of their mother. Like, they've got emerald green eyes. Looks very nice. And the black hair. Very, very lovely. Very lovely. But okay. And they've got largely their father's skin tone. Cameron's a bit lighter. Um, but Katarina's definitely got her father's skin tone. Which is really fun. But okay. Casey's beginning to feel a little bit sickly. Why don't you go deliver the sports forms then? You're not going to be around for the birthday anyways. You have to go to work very soon. You might as well get some stuff done. So he's going to head off to deliver some forms to City Hall. And Katarina, how you going? How you going, Katarina? Oh, she was out in the snow. Now she's sent me out in the snow on the deck. Nine looks like she's about to come back home. And I think we paid out the butler today. Nile, where'd you go? Oh no. I thought she was coming home or something. She's not. She's not. And also, when we move to a new world, I'm wondering whether Niall's gonna want to continue staying in a science career. I mean, she doesn't really mind what sort of career she has. Science is more of a thing that Juno wanted Niall to become. Or science is a thing that Juno wanted Niall to pursue. Because she kind of knew growing up that Juno, not Juno, but Niall was a genius. So she probably wanted to utilize that which I don't know, I have mixed feelings about because Juno never worked a day in her life. So I don't know why she wants her daughter to go into science. It's not like Niall's shown interest in that from a young age. I don't even know what Niall's interested in from a young age. She didn't really have any hobbies or anything. She didn't. I mean, yeah, logic's pretty good, but they have a chess table and 
everyone kind of spend some time in logic. I guess in that way, Nile followed a little bit after Cassidy. And what's this? Talk about handiness. You might have to do that at some other time. Your daughter's birthday, remember? Task oriented. Let's be task oriented. And also, Juno never got to do anything with her lifetime wish, which was for the perfect garden. Unfortunately, I was really bad with managing the garden, and half the time it was winter anyway, so we can't exactly go ahead and play around the plants in winter. I think even in a greenhouse, like an indoor greenhouse, these plants do go dormant, which kind of sucks. Um, or if it doesn't, I am not entirely sure how you would influence that, but there we go. We never really worked around with this. We didn't even get one plant perfect quality, which sucks. I tried quite a bit in the beginning, but then we got so distracted with just family and kids and a whole bunch of other stuff that we didn't really have a whole lot of time to mess around with that. And oh, it makes me so happy to see them utilizing rooms like this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. She's reading a story, Hot Nights, and Bravo is over here being adorable in the... Inventing room? Yeah, this is kind of like the invention room that we have for Star over here. So, I really don't know what kind of life they'll be able to make when they leave, just because this is such, like, the perfect home for their family size. But, well guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye